Mango. Mo abajo. I've only been here for two weeks, but already I am sure about one thing. My favorite part about Florence is the Rose Garden. It's at the other end of the city, across the bridges, and so it feels a lot less busy, and there are certainly more of a breeze there. It's so stunning to take yourself there on a little date or bring your loved ones. That's what I did when my family of three, my mum, my grandma, and my uncle came to visit last week. This was top on the agenda, and after lots of walking, eating gelato, and basking in the hot sun, we were well in need of a nap here. During their time here, we also visited El Cinque Terre, which is the beautiful coastline three and a half hours away from Florence. It felt so special to experience a new place altogether, discover new foods, laugh, skim stones into the ocean, and enjoy each other's company after a long time of being apart. That's one thing that has been such a warm and kind surprise about my time so far in Italy. Even though I moved here alone, had never been to this part of Italy before, I've encountered such wonderful people who make me feel alive and in touch with the highest part of myself. A home away from home, I guess we could say. When everyone speaks Italian, but you don't know on the thing. Mi amiga. What's your name? Francisco. Omar Where are you Francisco. from? <laughs> California. What's your favorite color? What's your name? Ivana. Where are you from? Mexico. What's your name? Sarai. Where, where are you from? In the States. It's so pretty. It's like 6 p.m. And perfect time to be here. Not too hot. A lot of busy. I'm videoing. <laughs> My uncle's like, are you talking to someone? I'm like, no, this is for YouTube. I don't know if you can see. I think along the coast, you've got all the other different towns that make up El Cinque Terre, which is the five, the five seaside towns. I'm not sure what Terre means. I guess like soil, ground, terrain. <laughs> um, and we are at like the third or fourth stop, Monterosso, and it is beautiful. Like so, 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 so stunning. I would love to do a hike one day. I just living there or like there or like. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm so happy. Mmm, baby. The shrimps look like flowers, though. After my family left, my best friend came to visit and we had an awesome time exploring Tuscany, yes. catching her up after our Portuguese adventures Ow. and sharing some Florentine ones. We didn't make them here. More like, oh, yeah. Uh-uh. Why not? No, not here, but, you know. Really and truly, if there's one thing Jasmine and I do well, it is finding the most delicious spots to enjoy a meal together. If you are coming to Florence soon, I would 100% recommend this restaurant. It's called Beppa Fioria and it's located by the Rose Garden. So it's a perfect spot for dinner after enjoying the sunset at the Piazzale de Michelangelo. We ordered the Beppa Share platter, which consisted of a delicious selection of antipasti meats, cheeses, the speciality crispy potato goodness, which I don't even know what it is, but it's just delicious. It's almost like a Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Okay, how amazing is this? I'm just walking to get groceries, as you do, on a casual Saturday morning. It is boiling. And I walk through my normal, like, piazza, piazza, and there's this, like, vintage market going on. And there are so many stores with so many cool things, antiques, paintings. I got these amazing rings. This one is a tiger eye. It's silver. And then this one is from Nepal. They're both from Nepal, actually. But I got them for 25 euros, which is like 21 pounds, which is insane because they are both amazing. Everyone has such cool things here and it's just such a beautiful day. 
Um, I love this kind of market. It's just so... I don't know what the word is. Just, just so kind of amazing. Wow, this is cool. We're gonna go rafting. Desmond, how are you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm excited. Are you excited? I wanna jump in the shower. Okay. Guys, we're sweating. It's so fucking it's hot. It's so hot. Um, but I just want to shower in the first Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine, do you wanna check? Go, can you go? Can you go? Go on, go on. Go on. Okay, let's see the fit. Go on, go on. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Love it. Okay. Let's stop on the left. Okay? Let's stop on the left after the big stone. On the left. Would this really be an Italian vlog if we didn't talk about ice cream or gelato? On the same street as the famous Antico Vinal, we have El Gelateria dei Neri. The ice cream here is a can't miss. So far, I have tried blackberry, chocolate orange, chocolate and apricot and mango. But oh my goodness, they have so many flavours and the queue, although training out of the shop, goes very fast. Another favourite of mine is My Sugar Gelato, which was voted number one at the 2016 festival in Florence. They have more obscure flavours like black sesame and ricotta and fig. Equally as delicious, but a more low-key spot. Mango. Chocolate. This black sesame one is so good. It is, actually. She's leaving me! No! <laughs> <laughs> 